Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see today, we are in a different part of my house. So today I wanna share with you a tag, a video I was tagged on by the beautiful Veronica from Veronica Says. I believe some other YouTubers started this tag. She was tagged and she tagged me. And I'm definitely gonna leave those videos down in the description box below. So please make sure to go and check out their channels. Anyways, this tag, I found it so incredible. So it's sharing some of the fragrances that makes us feel a little bit better. So when we wanna just lift our mood, change our mood, what are those go-to fragrances that we usually reach for to make us feel a different way? So I figured why not do it a little bit more relaxed, let's go to the living room, light up a couple of candles, grab a cup of coffee, and just chit chat about these fragrances that I usually like to reach for when I'm feeling, you know, not the best and I just wanna lift my mood. So if you're up for that, stay tuned and let's get started. If this is your first time here, it is very nice to meet you. My name is Moraima. In this channel, I share some of my passions such as fragrance, self-care and decor. And for my returning subscribers, I'm so excited to see you. I hope you have your coffee, your tea, your water, your juice, whatever it is that you wanna drink and share with me and let's get into these fragrances. I'm not gonna get into any details or notes or anything like that. We're just going to really dive into how the fragrances make me feel and why do I choose them and I resource to them when I wanna feel a some particular way. And the very first fragrance that I wanna share with you guys is This Is Her by Zadig and Voltaire. Oh my God, this fragrance is one of my must, 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 must have. So I made myself, if you see me looking down, I have my little notebook with notes of how they make me feel and exactly how I wanna share them with you. So. To me, this is like a hug. Ever since I reviewed this fragrance for the very first time, when I smell this fragrance, it's just, oh my God, it's just, it's so, it's a hug. I can't even explain it. Imagine the most cozy, fluffy blanket that is giving you a beautiful, yummy hug and is you're just enveloped by it and I feel so cozy. But at the same time, it's a fragrance that which is one of the reasons why I really fell in love with it because most fragrances that make me feel that way or that I interpret in this particular way, they're very light fragrances. They're fragrances that don't have really good performance, but this is a beast. It stays hugging you all day long. <laughs> so those days that I wanna feel cozy, that I wanna feel like, I know that a lot of people interpret this like a very powerful and sexy, but to me it's a very gourmand, it's a very yummy, lactonic, creamy fragrance. And anything that is creamy, to me, I interpret to fluffy and hug and like I just wanna cozy up with my fuzzy sacks on the couch and I just wanna watch a movie and have hot cocoa with marshmallows. So to me, this is one of my cozy hug fragrances. I love the fact that it's so powerful and I love the fact that you know I can feel like that for a long time and I don't have to constantly be reapplying. This is a very like tonic fragrance. It's a very creamy fragrance. It has whipped cream and sandalwood and vanilla. It's just so creamy and just enveloping and I absolutely love like I said the performance and this is one of my cozy up fragrances that makes me feel super hugged and protected and enveloped. Zadig and Voltaire this is her. The next fragrance I want to talk about it's another fragrance that is very creamy but it's also very powdery and it's intense at the same time. You're gonna notice that a lot of my fragrances are all about feeling cozy and protected and like I'm receiving a hug because to me those are the times that I need fragrance to lift me up the most when I feel like I can't with the world you know I'm sure you've had those days when you feel like the world is too heavy for you and you just need a helping hand so these are the fragrances that kind of make me feel like okay I got you you're not alone and this one is Tiffany Intense or Intense Tiffany by Tiffany & Co this is such a gorgeous bottle but obviously we are very interested in the juice but guys this bottle it is just to die for so as I was saying this is a very powdery fragrance it's an amber floral that it's super powdery and creamy it has musk cashmere it has vanilla it's a very cozy but at the same time a very light fragrance and feminine it has pear and it has rose and jasmine and a touch of pink pepper but it also has mandarin leaf and anytime a fragrance has some sort of leaf or anything that is plant related it has a very calming effect i feel and to me this is how i feel with this fragrance so what i put on my notes is comforting and creamy and hug like so very similar to zadik and voltaire just this one is less sweet so it gives me about the same type of feeling but it's just 
a little bit less sweeter than Sardique and Voltaire. Sardique and Voltaire is a lot more gourmand than this. And I just love how comforting it is and how hug-like it is at the same time having really, really good performance. I was able to smell the regular Tiffany, not the intense version, and they're completely different. That one is very citrusy, very fresh, very summer-like. This is a little bit more appropriate for now. And to me, this one lifts my mood. It makes me feel like, you know, those days when I feel like I need like a pick-me-up or something that makes me feel like things are gonna get better. Like this is the type of fragrance that I'm gonna either spray or sometimes I just open my drawer and just like take the cap and start sniffing. Please let me know that I'm not the only one who just opened your fragrances and start sniffing around like even though you're not gonna wear them just to you know get that little bit of like aromatherapy hit or something like that because I definitely do that and I'm not ashamed so this was my other comforting and powdery scent Tiffany intense by Tiffany & Co the next fragrance is another hug like fragrance that I usually like to wear in the evening time or going to bed this is one of my first fragrances that I added to my collection once I restarted my collection this year and this one is Manifesto from YSL. Now, I know this fragrance is technically off the market, but there's still a lot of discounter websites that have it available. So I will link everything that I find below so that in case you wanna have information, you're able to find something below. But this fragrance is, I don't even know why they took it off the market. It is beautiful. I love, 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 love it. This is a green vanilla. And technically green vanillas wouldn't be the type of fragrances that you would categorized as comforting or hug-like or anything like that but but I don't know what it is this fragrance is just oh my god it makes me feel like someone is just telling me I got you I wear this often to bed like very often and it's like that message of sleep it off tomorrow is gonna be better and I don't understand what it does to me and how it does it but I just every time um you know, you have those nights that you just, you know, when you have those days that you're just like exhausted and not physically, mentally, emotionally, things are not going your way. People are doing you wrong. I wear this and it's just like, I feel better instantly. I'm able to actually fall asleep. I'm able to stay asleep. I just absolutely love this fragrance. So needless to say i am going to need a few backups because i know that eventually it's going to be off the market but this is another beautiful amber floral is powdery it has obviously vanilla is at the forefront it can be a little bit automatic because it has a green note what i mean the green notes stay a little bit in the background and is the coziness of the vanilla and the black currant it has jasmine sandback, lily of the valley. It's just a very, very cozy fragrance. It has tonka bean and sandalwood. The other fragrances, the Tiffany and the This Is Her, those are not necessarily fragrances I would wear to bed. This one, I wear almost strictly only, only going to bed. And it's like my, I need to feel good, this comes to my rescue. Manifesto is just that girl to me. And it's funny, quick story. One day I was putting it on and you know, as you're looking at the bottle, you're obviously it looks almost like a woman, the figure of a woman and all snatched with like her beautiful belt on the waist. But the fact that the fragrance is called Manifesto to me, it just, it was just even more enticing because I'm a very big believer in manifesting your life and affirmations and really believing that thoughts become things. Now that doesn't mean that you don't have negativity in your life. We do, everybody does. It's a matter of like, what are the actions that you're taking in order to get those negative thoughts away? That's where I use fragrances to lift my mood. I change my environment. I light up a candle. I use some oil diffusers. I dance, I put some music. I try to get myself out of the state that is making me feel down. And the fact that the name of this is Manifesto, which is definitely a different meaning but if you interpret the word as manifesting manifesto in latin or in spanish means i manifest and it just really puts me into a different mindset when i'm going to sleep because then i'm like i can manifest the life i want i can manifest the feeling i want i can manifest the emotions i want let me just think of them let me just go to that place in the aroma of the fragrance i usually like to like layer it over here and i layer some of it in my arm so that when i go to sleep or like if i'm you know moving around then it's constantly around me obviously i don't bathe myself and i don't like overspray just enough to like make me fall asleep it does wonders to me like to me this is just incredible I need to have it in my collection at all times oh 
I love, 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 love this fragrance. Now, the next fragrance is completely the opposite of everything we've spoken about so far. I know it seems like everything I have is like a big hug and just cozy fragrances, but no, there's a little bit of everything, I promise. So the next fragrance is something that I wear mainly when it's warmer outside because it's a little bit more conducive to the weather. And this is one of my extremely happy fragments. Like when I want to feel like life is a musical, you know, <laughs> when you watch these movies that are like half movie, half musicals, and in the middle of the movie, like there's a dance in the middle of the streets with like 20 dancers and everybody's just jumping up and down and the guys are lifting the girls and you know, it's all happening. This is what this fragrance makes me feel inside. Maybe it's the dancer in me that just, you know, <laughs> sees that in my mind. And this one is Eros Por Femme by Versace. Oh, this is the EDT version, just in case you're wondering, the one that has a clear center. This is a very citrusy, it's supposed to be considered a floral woody, but I don't smell any wood in here. Like, and I'm very good at detecting like a woody note. On me, it's very just bright and sunny and zesty, but super, super sweet. So not necessarily like light blue, but it's almost like that feeling of Dolce & Gabbana light blue, but in a much more sweeter version. This is, oh, this is sunshine and happy in a bottle. And the juice, the juice, the yellow juice in, in this bottle is exactly how it feels. It's bright, it's sunny, it's happy, it's exciting, it's life is great, you own the world. I absolutely love it. And just as a special mention, Mancera, Sicily, these two are almost the same. So this one smells very, very, very similar to Eros Pour Femme. The only difference is that this one is obviously a little bit stronger. So the performance that usually Mancera provides, which is a very, very strong projection performance, is exactly what you're getting with this, but it's very, very similar. These two are like in the same family. So when I want something that is gonna last a little bit longer, I'll go with this one. When I want something that is a little bit lighter, then I go with this. But you know, don't get me wrong, this one has really good projection and it has really good performance as well. So like I was saying, this is fruity, it's citrusy, it has raspberry, it has lemon, it has mandarin orange and orange blossom and jasmine. So technically it's floral fruity, but the sweetness of the citruses and the raspberry just makes it a super, super happy fragrance. So when I have those days that I'm gonna be out and about and I just want to feel happy and preppy and like I'm 15 years old and life is just like a musical, this is one of the fragrances that definitely I tend to grab. Oh, I absolutely love this fragrance. I need to... Oh, guys, it's like... Even, even now that it's like fall, it just wakes you up. It makes you feel hope. It makes you feel like everything is possible. And I don't know if I'm the only one interpreting this. Let me know if you have this fragrance down in the comments below. Do you feel like hopeful and like excited about life? This is how this fragrance makes me feel. And I absolutely love it. And it took a while before I could find like a freshie that I would like because usually they were all, everybody was like jumping into the light blue wagon, vein wagon, and that's not my jam. I wanted something a little bit sweeter. I discovered this, and then after that, I discovered this, and I'm like, these are the two that I'm keeping. Like, they have the combination of exactly what I'm looking for in a very summery, sweet, citrusy, freshy. Oh, but it just makes you feel like, like you just wanna scream at the top of your lungs and say, yeah! That's exactly how I feel with Eros Pour Femme Eau de Toilette or EDT. So this is my own personal happy cheerleader in a bottle, Eros Pour Femme EDT from the House of Versace. The next fragrance is another fragrance that it's a very happy, yes I can, you can do it type of fragrance. It's another one of my cheerleaders. So I have my squad that makes me feel protected and cared for and I have my cheerleader squad, <laughs> which makes me feel happy. Like I can go after the world and get everything I want. And this is another fragrance that is usually appropriate for more warmer weather or like if I'm indoors, if I'm staying at the house or something like that. And this one is Bal d'Afrique by Byredo. So very, very popular fragrance. A lot of people enjoy this fragrance. It was super popular and super hyped, I think in 2020. Again, let me look at my notes to make sure that I am giving it justice. So what I wrote in my notes is positivity, yes I can, daytime. 
So definitely something I would wear during the day and I want to feel positivity. I want to feel like, yes, I can accomplish what I'm looking for. And it could be just seizing the day. You know, when you wake up some days and you have a to-do list that is like eight miles long, you're like, how am I going to accomplish all of this today? And you may not finish the day and accomplishing everything, but if you have the right mindset and you have the right attitude, you are able to at least produce 20 to 50% more than if in your mindset, you feel like dragging, like, oh my God, I don't think I can make it. And I don't think I can making it's a constantly negative conversation that you're having in your head this fragrance I put this fragrance on and all those negative thoughts just go poof and eliminates all negativity that I could have in my head and I can tell you because it has happened to me where I accomplish at least 35% more than if I didn't put myself in a different mood it opens very bright and I'm sure you've seen all kinds of reviews it's a vetiver focus fragrance so it's a little bit automatic but it's a feminine aromatic. It's a sweet aromatic. It's not necessarily something that is very masculine. And this one is actually unisex. Men and women can definitely pull this off, but I feel like it morphs itself. Like when I spray it on me and I smell it on my skin, like I don't feel like I smell like a man. I feel very feminine, very clean. This is very crisp. To me, this says white t-shirt and jeans, ponytail, large, handbag and go get your errands done and get it all done in a day mm, i love 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 this gives me the confidence it gives me the strength it gives me the happiness it gives me the focus this fragrance makes me feel a little bit focused like if i have a day that i need to edit all day and i want to get focused and i want to have something that is light but it's keeping me focused there's something in this fragrance that it's it allows me to stay focused so like i said it has vetiver it has a malfi lemon it has black currant it has orange flower i actually believe it's african orange flower Mm, it's a beautiful bright fragrance it makes me feel positive it makes me feel like I can accomplish things it makes me feel focused when I'm not so focused <laughs> you know we have those days and it just gives me that little extra oomph to do a little bit more to reach a little bit further and it's one of the main reasons why I fell in love with this fragrance not so much because of the hype that was all around about it it just when I smelled this fragrance for the first time was actually yes because of the hype I wanted to see what everybody was talking about what is this Belle d'Afrique all about and I was able to experience it in a boutique and then after that I was like the way I felt is what sold me on this fragrance not the hype very very different because to me I was like I want to feel this way and there are moments that I'm not able to feel this way on my own so I need that little extra boost and this is the one that does it for me Bal d'Afrique by Bayreiro the next fragrance is another one that I could not wait for the weather to get a little bit cooler in order for me to start enjoying it I believe it was launched at the end of 2020 or beginning 2021 the thing is that it sold out everywhere for the longest time and obviously we were in lockdown and it was really really hard to either get to a store or for in exports so obviously you know the world was in a condition where the shipping was very very difficult and it was really hard for me to get my hands on a bottle so by the time I actually added it to my collection it was almost warm weather and I couldn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to so needless to say I was waiting for this fall for the longest time and when I wore this fragrance for the first time it made me feel the first thing I felt was confident although it's a very gourmand ish kind of fragrance and this is Angel Share by the house of Killian mm. It's just so yummy. To me, it's the right amount of boozy. It's not like an incense dark type of fragrance, not at all. To me, this fragrance it doesn't go in that direction, at least in my skin, thank God, it doesn't go in that direction. To me, there's a creaminess within the cinnamon and the vanilla that envelops this fragrance that is just, it's, it is like a hug. It's like a different type of hug. Now, I think, you know, you're out and about and you are dressed really well you feel confident you feel like you're going to have a good time you feel like you belong you know sometimes there has been times where i don't know if it happens to you that you go somewhere and for some odd reason your mind is making you feel like like you don't fit in and it's not necessarily a good thing it's not necessarily a bad thing you just don't feel like you're feeling your best you're not feeling your best to be where you are and this fragrance kind of makes me feel that way like if i am somewhere and even if i'm not dressed exactly the way maybe i wanted to be dressed at least this the way this fragrance makes me feel is that i internally feel like i belong like i i should be there like confident just very confident but this is a very yummy fragrance and the hype is real. This fragrance is really, really good and I can understand why it was sold out for the longest time. 
I mean, it has cognac, it has cinnamon, it has tonka bean, it has praline. It's a very gourmand-ish, but adapted for the cooler weather and in a very serious, sexy way, and in a very mature way. Like I wouldn't wear this during the day to go to a theme park. Like this is not the type of fragrance for this. I would definitely go to a business meeting in the evening time with this. You know, sometimes you have those supper business meetings. I would definitely wear something like that if you are an entrepreneur or if you're going to a date and it's like a little black dress type of date and you want to feel very seductive, attractive, but you know, womanly, like you're a woman. I absolutely love this fragrance. This fragrance to me is the epitome of feeling confident, is the epitome of feeling like you're going to kill it that day, like you're gonna make it happen, and it's going to be a good time, and you're feeling attractive, but at the same time, very sure of yourself, very confident. I just absolutely love it. And I am so excited The fall is already here and I can finally wear it. So once again, this confident booster is Angel's Share by the House of Killing. The next fragrance is another fragrance that is part of my calming squad that makes me feel super positive and calm and like dreamlike, a very dreamy type of fragrance. And this one is Musk Therapy by the House of Initio. You've noticed that a lot of my fragrances are making me feel calm, making me feel comforted, making me feel like I can't accomplish things. These are all the emotions that we tend to want to feel when we are down, when things are not going the best. We just want to feel if we're stressed, we want to feel calm. If we are not very positive or things are not going well, we want to feel like hopeful, like we can believe, like things are can actually gonna turn around for us. So that's why you're finding a lot of these type of fragrances and not necessarily the, oh, I feel extremely sexy, man killer type of fragrances. That's not exactly what I was going for with this video. I was trying to target the typical emotions that we constantly encounter on a day-to-day -day basis during life as a human. You know, we have stress, we have, you know, day that are not going the way we want to and we have days where we feel completely defeated. What are the fragrances that are going to help me in that area, not necessarily feel sexy and beautiful and pretty? That's what we usually talk about. This is a little bit more deeper. This is connecting with your soul and that's exactly why I wanted to present these fragrances to you. Back to this, right? <laughs> One can go on a tangent for way too long. So musk therapy. Mm. This is new to my collection and this is a musky, fruity, citrusy type of musk and I absolutely love it. I've never been a lover of like extremely musky fragrances and it's so funny because before I knew, you know, anything about fragrances and stuff like that, I thought that I liked musky because I liked very comforting, very creamy type of fragrances and I thought that that's what musk meant. Little did I know that it's very, very different from that and, but this one is just very, very different. It's so well blended. It's very fresh, but musky at the same time. And that's the combination that I absolutely love about it because it, it's aromatic, it has a little bit of, it's a little woody, it's musky, and it's a very clean feeling type of fragrance. So although it's a musky fragrance, it makes you feel very clean and very calm. So what did I put on my notes for musk therapy? So I have calming, dreamy, and positive. So these are definitely what this makes me feel. This is more of a daytime, cozy type of fragrance. I'm not gonna stay too long on this fragrance because I am sharing it in another video where I'm doing a full depth, in-depth review of it, but definitely a very calming, a very relaxing, a very positive and dreamy type of fragrance. And I absolutely love it. Musk Therapy by the House of Inicio. And the next fragrance that I have for you today is another floral woody fragrance that is my second go-to to go to sleep. And it's super affordable. And this is White Tea by Elizabeth Arden. I absolutely, I mean, look at this dent. It's right over here. This, I'm gonna need another bottle like ASAP. This and Manifesto are my two go-to fragrances to go to sleep. This makes me feel more happy, more like, you know, tomorrow's gonna be a great day. Um, you know, especially in the summertime, I wear this a lot to go to bed when it's hot and I just wanna feel like fresh and positive. I absolutely love to wear this fragrance to go to bed when I wanna feel that way. Sometimes during the day too. If I'm here and I have a long day and I just wanna feel like, like a burst of like, pick me up, definitely I would wear this fragrance. Obviously the longevity is not as much, so I have to reapply like quite often, but this is a very relaxing fragrance to me. And that's one of the things that I also love about it. It's not only, so Manifesto makes me feel cared for like a hug and this makes me feel relaxed. It's like a spa. To me, this is a spa in a bottle. I absolutely love the spa-like quality of this fragrance. 
it makes me feel relaxed and it doesn't have eucalyptus or lavender like those typical scents that we relate to a spa or we relate to relaxing but it's a very aquatic and aromatic but again relaxing on my nose i wrote relaxing spa so that's exactly how i feel i feel like i'm in a spa i feel relaxed i feel rejuvenated i feel like you know and it's that type of fragrance that gives me you know that relaxing feeling and one of the notes that i love the most about this fragrance is the white tea i love white tea anything that has white tea to me is very relaxing is very calming is very spa like especially when i go get my shopping on at bath and body bath and body works usually the aromatherapy collection that has the eucalyptus and white tea that is my favorite and every few years they tend to change the name either uh, they've called it focus or now they call it relaxing or something like that but it has to be the one that has a mix of white tea and eucalyptus oh my goodness my shower gel is that my body lotion is that i have the oils for the diffuser i absolutely love love that scent is what i use non-stop religiously i absolutely love the feeling of creating a spa in my house in my shower when i need to just relax reading a book at night is absolutely my go-to i love 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 this fragrance and i'm so happy like i wouldn't have never thought that you know an elizabeth arden fragrance was going to smell this good and it smells like what you see in the bottle it's very white very clean very crisp you can wear it outside absolutely i don't because i don't find that the longevity is good enough and i would have to like have a little one or a decant with me and it's a little too too much but if i had to i would like absolutely love this fragrance oh i love it it's positivity it's relaxing is you can let go things are gonna work out. I have a snow globe, or I think that's what they're called. It's like a snow globe, but it has a Buddha inside with some gold flecks. And I'm gonna put some footage here so you can see it. And the reason why I got that snow globe is because when I saw it in the store and I shook it a little bit and I saw the Buddha inside of the globe, so still, so at peace. And all of these flakes of gold just swirling all around the water as if it would be a big storm of problems and issue and he was keeping his calm and it was just eventually settling to the ground it reminded me of the beautiful quote from buddha that says these two shall pass and this is what i feel with this fragrance i spray it and i feel like this too shall pass i got this brighter days are coming hold your peace maintain your peace conserve your peace oh i'm getting a little bit deep here but it's just how it makes me feel it makes me feel like yes things are a little bit crazy right now but in due time things are gonna get better just maintain your focus protect your peace and i absolutely love this fragrance for that once again this was white tea by elizabeth arthur and these were all the fragrances that i wanted to share with you in the feel good fragrances tag thank you so much veronica for tagging me i appreciate it i would like to tag a few creators and i'm gonna leave them down below i would love to see what are your feel good fragrances however if you are watching this video, let me know what are the fragrances that make you feel good? What are the fragrances that lift your mood up? What are the fragrances that make you feel invincible? What are the fragrances that make you feel like everything is going to be okay? What are the fragrances that make you feel like you got this? You know, I would love, love, love if you can share those with me. I'm definitely, you know, not opposed to adding more to my collection. And I strongly believe that aromatherapy and perfume can definitely have a big, big impact in everyone's lives and how we handle difficult situations. As we all know, the world is in a little bit of a difficult situation lately. And I am a big proponent that if aromatherapy can definitely keep you grounded in the right state of mind and absolutely resource to that. It did for me and I hope it does for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you be a part of this growing family. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and don't don't forget to come back next week for more videos to my subscribers thank you so much for joining me today i send you a big hug bye bye